Welcome back to another Boom Beach video. Now, if it sounds a little echoey in here, I got rid of a bunch of stuff. So hopefully, once my room gets messier, it will return to normal. Anyway, today I'm going to be showing you how to defeat the very first Gear Heart stage. So basically, when you unlock Gear Heart, uh, you get this level 45. Or when you unlock the Cloud Path, you get this level 45. And once you defeat her, um, you unlock Ever Spark. And you unlock more gear heart bases, so you get gear heart every single every single week, and you get ever spark. So I'm super pumped to take this down. Um, a while ago, I was practicing it on the dev build, and I think I was able to do it with um, what was it? 40, 40 warriors. I mean, no, forty zukas and no statue boosts, and it was like level ten zukas. What level do I have now? Um, I have level 12, so I was able to wreck the base a long time ago, so you can definitely defeat this if you're lower than me, but uh, it doesn't really matter what level you are, as soon as you unlock it, you should be able to, should be able to take it down. So, I'm going to be showing you the path, the best path to use, Now I watched a couple videos, um, but nobody, nobody did it this way, they all were like maxed offense and uh, boosted up or something, and where they had like uh, 50, no, they have like... 70 or to 100 warrior, I mean Zuka, sorry. I'm a little disoriented right now. So I'm going to be showing you how to defeat it. And hopefully I won't mess up too badly. But let's just do it. It's a pretty simple, uh, pretty simple attack. So you're going to take two boats, drop them up here. Kind of separated here. Uh, just let them take down a couple buildings for some extra gumbo energy. They're going to take down these first two buildings. They're going to move up. And as soon as they take down these two buildings, you have to drop a flare over here good and you're gonna get one smoke here and you're just gonna land your zookas like you would in operation and you'll get here you'll drop a flare up you gotta get a smoke right here and you gotta keep your zookas all smoked up so none of them are going to die I am losing a couple uh, which isn't good at all but I should still be able to defeat this base um, I kinda forgot like what shock placement to have and I also forgot to mark it. So normally you'd want to mark uh, the shock blaster. And we're actually going to have to mark it here. And we're going to have to drop another shock. So you can definitely do this with a lot less. I've, I completely forgot about the marking. Uh, so yeah, marking the shock launcher. Just drop one artillery on the shock launcher. I mean shock blaster, I'm sorry. Drop one artillery on the shock blaster and you'll be fine. So uh, you, you, you could do it with a lot less energy. So as soon as they take down... Um, all the defenses, you you have a free ride. So I'm just going to drop a flare here to back up a little bit, then drop a flare to the HQ, and we're just going to hit that HQ. Doom Cannon, we'll pick a few off on the center, but yeah, it, it's a pretty easy base. A lot of people have trouble with it, um, but once you know the path, it's, it's pretty easy. Anyone can do it. You don't need to be a Zuka expert at all. Just easy, easy, easy peasy. Um, and some Zookas will stand out of range of the Doom Cannon, so don't worry about that. And there we go. It's a pretty, pretty easy attack. Um, I don't know if it's possible with Warriors. I would guess not, because you would want that shield generator to go. Um, but yeah, there it goes. Level 45. And now we're going to unlock Everspark on my mini account. So that's going to be super cool. So Gearhearts Industries will consolidate right here. My next space will be five times as tough. And you get five attacks. So that's kind of cool. You can try to chip away at my war factories, but I doubt you can ever leave a mark. Persistent damage on the war factories. Or Gearheart, yeah, Gearheart war factories. Okay, here we go. We got five medals. If only I can get those five medals on my main account. I got decent loot, not amazing loot. Uh, I got a lot of ice stuff. And here we go, guys. Get ready for it. Get hyped. There she is. Oh, she's so beautiful, guys. Look at that. Perfect. Okay, let's click on her. And boom. Oops. My critters and I have been hiding from the Blackguard for a while, but hey, you found me. Uh, I'm looking to teach those t those bad guys a lesson. Can I tag along? I've got a few tricks on my coat, and I can reread in the dialogue. Okay, and there we go. I didn't. I was not aware it was Gearheart War Factory, and I lost a lot of Zookas. Uh, and yeah, this kind of sucks. But okay, here we go. Whew. Defeating War Factory at this level is practically impossible. <laughs> um, I think I could do it if I had universal remote, but I don't, I'm not even going to try. Um, I need to get 
my weapon lab down so I can start collecting prototype parts because I do not believe uh, your prototype parts will stack up. You can get prototype parts uh, before you have the weapon lab. And the weapon lab is pretty expensive. Yeah, it's pretty expensive. I'll try to push a little more, try to get that upgraded soon. I got a new hero over here. Uh, let's actually take a screen. No, we're not gonna take a screenshot. Why would you take a screenshot? Let's see her. Oh, she looks so good. So right now she has no way. I want to see something. Does she have like no abilities uh, right now? Oh, I brick. Okay. Uh, that's that makes sense. I, was, uh, I wanted to see her without an ability. That would be so, so cool. And she just automatically selects an ability. I'm going to try to get universal remote. And I could upgrade her the first time. And we are going to do that because I do want universal remote because universal remote is amazing. Uh, unless I actually just do like a nice solid attack. We're not gonna train up our troops. We should be fine. Not the type of base we want to attack. Uh, we, we want to find a base that looks fairly easy, but not too, not too bad. Stun locked. Okay, we need warriors for that one. Fifth Avenue. Uh, cannonball, cannonball, come on. Okay, we're gonna try it with this. I could do it without, um, without her. But I am going to try it. And, uh, yeah, I have a lot less Zuka, so hopefully we'll be fine. Let's we'll drop our troops. Uh, I believe she walks just a tad faster. Yeah, she walks just a tad faster. Uh, why was she walking over there? That's a little weird. She walks a tad faster than my Zuka's. Not going to make a difference. We're going to activate her ability, get two shocks down. And her ability is going to help us. Good, they split, they split up. It's not going to make too much of a difference right now, though. She's going to walk back a little bit to uh, hit the HQ, and boom, 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 goes down. I love critters. This is the very first time you guys will be getting critters, by the way, so if you are a lower level and you want critters, this is the only time you can unlock critters. I believe uh, you need to be HQ 17 to unlock critters. I could be wrong. Uh, I just think it's HQ 17 in my watch screen. I would have it a little too tight, probably cutting off circulation. Okay. Uh, we are saving some life crystals and some ice crystals in case we ever get, um, in case, in case, uh, Trader offers a trade for us. I am converting shards, I mean, no, fragments, I'm sorry, I am converting fragments, I'm not, where's the, this, I'm not too worried about, um, the perfectionist on this account. This account's just for operations. My main account, I want all the achievements, and by the way, special video about those coming soon. Um, on my main account, I want all the achievement, achievements done. I just want to be like fully done with Boom Beach, but not, I'm not going to quit, but you know what I mean. And um, this account, I don't care about achievements. I, I would like the diamond reward, yes, but you know, it's not that big of a deal for me right now. Anyway, whoa, whoa, they, whoa, they did Stronghold. I believe this is the first time they ever attempted Stronghold. Yeah, we don't have any, I don't think we have any big hitters here. Um, Johnny Awesome is okay. Um, yeah, we don't have any like bigger hitters. So I believe, uh, why, why the heck did they do an AZ op in Stronghold? That's what I want to know. I wish my main account was here because I could, uh, show off my skills a little bit. Um, but yeah, my main account isn't here and I can't show off my skills, so... Uh, I'll train up some troops, and I'll attack this a little later today. Um, but yeah, we're just, we're just going to show you a couple of attacks here. And uh, Foxtrot, I want to show you some easy, uh, some awesome AZ hits from lower levels. Um, because AZ, if you guys don't know, is hard to use at a lower level because you, you need to have those perfectly gapped smokes. Uh, you need those energy. And it's hard when you don't have that type of stuff. Like, he, he, he used, like... Four to five flares just getting up here um, because his flares are such a low level but once he gets up to once he gets up here just hit that HQ uses bad orders knows what he's doing and just snipes that core down so fairly easy attack um, for any level should be able to do it an attack like this um, but like a super super low level obviously the base was cleared for him he just had to hit the core but overall decent hit I uh, will show you sliding block. I'm just showing you guys the finishing hits, but I don't want people to see this and be like, okay, well, I'm not going to attack unless it's a, unless it's a finishing hit. 
Um, because we don't like people like that either. People who wait off for an easy attack and then hits the up at the very end. Um, just so they don't have to boost up or something. So those are the type of people we don't like in our task force family. Um, but yeah, if you're like that attack, uh, I don't know if you were saving his attack. I, 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 okay. Yeah, we're not going to watch that attack because that, I was watching it live and I, I kind of have a feeling he was waiting off. He's a co-leader and he, 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 like as soon as the base was open for a GBE finish or an easy hit, he, he hit. So I don't know if he was saving off or he just got on. I mean, I can't really say anything because I just got on. I was about to hit it. Um, I, I believe I missed an op the other day, so it kind of sucks. Uh, if you're in the Discord, let me know if I'm about to miss an op because I do look at the Discord. And I do want to know if I'm about to miss an op. So let me know about that because we, we, we would like to know that so I don't screw up anything. So we'll watch Fluffy 2.0. I want to see how what he did. Um, oh, yeah. So on this account, I am saving power powder. I'm just going to try to get like, I don't know, like a thousand power powder. Um, I originally had designed this account to be like a farming account to just get power powder. Um, and then once I get this account to like max Zookas, I would replace my main account in the reject task force, the reject redux task force with this account. And this account would have so much more pow power powder so I'd be able to boost in ops. And then my main account would go down from power powder and I would just like swap them back and forth. So I would always have an account in this task force and I would always have an account in the main task force. Um, but the main task force I would be boosting. I'm not going to boost in the mini task force uh, for operations at this point in time. Um, there's really no point in boosting this low. Uh, I wouldn't be able to do anything. I'd be able to do a little bit, but I wouldn't be able to do a lot. So, yeah, currently we're sitting at 77 power powder and I haven't uh, boosted once. So, that's kind of cool. Uh, let's grab our op reward. Let's get the diamonds. And yeah, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to drop a like as always. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.